I'm gonna roar to see how offended I am. No, I, I was just like starting a new recording, so there's separation in bits. Um, ha, nerd. I. Why do you, why do you think, I. Was okay with the scimitar thing, like letting you look at it. I imagine you want information about it. Well, that's not wrong, but that's not why. Then tell me, dear. Why? I wanted to... I wanted to trust you. Do you not? <laughs> that sounds as intentional. Chenomir. I, I hold the names of some of the people in your group. I've done nothing to you, as I'm sure you be, are well aware that other fairies would. I know. Do you not trust me? It... I... You knew she that taking the sword... takes a step closer to you. Yeah. You knew taking the sword wasn't... That that would have repercussions, right? Like, you have to understand that, right? Of course. But nothing's happened yet. None. Not terribly much either will happen, I'm sure. <laughs> it... The whole thing was something of a test. I wanted to see if... If, if you want to embarrass me, which normally doesn't hurt much, but I don't care when it does. I was just trying to see if that would extend past just embarrassing me and would go to damaging, possibly damaging reputations with my friends. I just... Damaging you? <laughs> I'll just ask me specifically not to give you that fucking sword. And... And yet you did it. I know, and it was a risk. And I wanted... Your, I know your nature is to mess with us in some extent. Yes. But I... Remember when I asked if we were actually a thing or if I'm just a game to you? I remember. I'm... And I remember I gave an amusedly vague response. I'm concerned that it's more the latter. Her smile dwindles. And fades. I... We... <laughs> I... I want to care about you. I know you know that, but it... it at every opportunity that I try, it feels to build some kind of trust or to learn about you so it doesn't feel like we're strangers sometimes. You shrug it away or or do some kind of joke about it. I, I see. Are you looking down at this point? Or are you like looking directly at her? Her eyes are kind of like flitting around trying to avoid eye contact, but she is making herself But she's like your face is facing her face. Yeah. Face face face. Face 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 face. She is forcing herself to make eye contact on occasion, because it's just like, I need to fucking look at you. Yeah, I need to drill the point in. She takes, like, the sides of your head, and then, like, brings your face, like, right in front of yours. And then sort of, like, try to force you to gaze directly into her eyes, her feline eyes. <laughs> Chetamir, it is never my intent to hurt you. Not truly. Tease, definitely. And she gets like a forlorn, half hearted, wicked smile. For I do so enjoy watching you squirm. It fades, her smile fades. But it is never my intent. She just stops. Do you know the story of the scorpion and the frog? I know it as the scorpion and the fox, but yes. I personally as Garth know it as frog. What happens in that story? The scorpion stings and says it's my nature. 
I never had that version. I heard of it, but when I was growing up, I had a different one. And what's yours, then? When they're crossing the river, at the point where they would have stung them, they don't. They get across, and the frog questions the scorpion, Why? It is your nature. It is by your design to hurt me. And the scorpion responds, even though it is, even though my nature is telling me to hunt you, to hurt you, to kill you, I choose my actions and how that nature is used. And when she says that, she is emphasizing the, like, hunting part and points to, like, em to put, like, oh, hey, this is also from Chenry's perspective. Hmm. I, I'm, f I'm not asking you to just not be yourself, because <laughs> in hindsight, almost every situation where it's like something funny, where you're just goofing around with me, that's actually kind of entertaining in a way. But this, it's like with Edgar, if he died, no offense, it, it wouldn't have been the biggest thing, but if that egg had been broken, there's so much more symbology behind it. It was a moment where you trusted me, and I failed you. And this is the same situation where I trusted you, and... I failed you. I'm sorry, Chenomir. For what it's worth. That's good to hear. <laughs> she, like, un she lets go of your head, and then she just presents out the summoning circle to you and takes your arm and slips it back on. And then she just holds out a hand, palm facing towards you, and then <laughs> shunts the scimitar back into existence. She grabs the grip of it. <laughs> Holds it out for you ceremoniously for you to take. I assure you I was trying to find out information about. I know. But I suppose my endeavors could have waited. See? You're you're smart. You understand. Thank you. And she, she moves to say something as you say like you understand, she like moves to say something but then stops herself and just holds out the boy for you. What were you going to say? She looks at you. As you're like, you're taking the blade. She just looks, just looking downcast at the ground. She looks at you in the eyes. Chenomir, what do you think I feel? I... Not right now, but just in general. I would hope happy. She smiles forlornly. I suppose in a sense that. Do you feel nothing? She closes her eyes and nods. What happened? Once more, the forlorn smile returns. It is my nature. I thought fairies were emotional beings. Extremely emotional beings. No offense to you, your life, your friends your day-to-day. -day. But do you think the things we do are immensely emotional? Or are they but a drop in the lake? I suppose that's right.
That's why I tease, I taunt, I play, I trick. That's the sort of fairy I am. And I don't have the beauty of any of the court fairies. That's inaccurate. You know what I mean. <laughs> they have so much going for them as they join the courts. They find outlets of expression and emotion. Cold as winter, blazing as summer. They have something. Us wild fairies were left to our own devices. For better and for worse. She like just sort of takes a step back and holds like her uh, right elbow with her left arm, sort of stands there. Uh, I'm not even that old, Chetamir. As a fairy. I've heard it gets worse. As time goes on. You... You have Danny. You'll have me. I too. She looks at you. She just blinks and looks away. How... Who in your life has left such great impacts? Which life? Both. <laughs> such a sudden question. She like holds like the side of her head with one of her hands. I think Chenmer just like, like takes the other hand and is just holding it softly. Who indeed? My mother. My father. My fairy godmother. My sister. She looks down the hallway. The people that have faced death with me and given me my emissariness. Not many else. That's a lot to live up to. I promise I will do everything in my fucking power to to leave an impact on you as I best so. as I can. You <laughs> notice she has, as you say this. Her feline eyes glaze away. Back to normal ones. You can keep doing those like pranks and things. It's fine, but. If it's something that could possibly be serious, please just address it with me first. I'll try. Someone died. Nah. Oh, it's dead. I'll try, Chenomir. I'll try. And I'll try not to be such a bumbling doofus that's worth your time. No, no. I'm not asking you to change your nature. <laughs> also, with magic weapons in the future, I, I was supposed to kind of watch after this thing. But that doesn't mean you can't play with it. Just have me around. I have no interest in using the weapon, Chenomir. 
You know what I mean. I, figure it out. Let me be a part of what you do so I can understand you better. She looks at you with like a blank expression. Blinks a couple of times. And close her eyes. It is a great debt you've forgiven me just now, Chetamir. She opens her eyes and they're feline once more and she looks you down in the eyes. And I shall not leave you wanting. You wish to know me. I swear thrice, ask me, and I shall answer to the best of my ability. You You cut out there for a second. Was last thing you heard. I swear thrice I will do it to the best of my ability. I swear thrice, because you wish to know me, ask. And I shall answer to the best of my ability. Thank you. And she kisses her. Ha, fucking nerd. Ah, that died but at some point. Yeah. And to answer she, of question. course, kisses you back. Mm. But then, promptly, let's go of you. You just smile. Turns around. And then gives you a gentle shove. Go on. I think they've been waiting for you long enough. By and I'm way. sure you and I will have much to talk about. Mm -hmm. By the way. I do trust you. And I do care for you. So don't. <laughs> don't go thinking. And I me. for you. See you Even later. if I don't say it. You say it enough. I'll tell you about the sword when all the relevant parties have returned. Chetamir like turns around and does like as I as I normally say a joking courtly bout, she does genuinely try. <laughs> to do like a decent bow. I don't know, Romeo know, like charisma or something. Uh performance. No, it doesn't fucking matter. If it's charisma based, I'm not trained in it. I figure. <laughs> eh. Yeah, sounds yeah, <clears throat> sounds about right. She's putting the effort. She doesn't in say anything, and she does an actual bow back. The gentleman will stand Thank here. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you will hold out arms, presenting the first two fingers. <laughs> okay, anytime a bow goes on, that's that's a line. That's a thing. So yeah, <laughs> your discussion with Anella and your new rapport aside. After se but a moment, just a quick moment, you said to the- 20 minutes. Back up top, Dana is like tapping her foot. A moment. Right? She says the old trick. Technically, I said <sighs> a second, so. <laughs> when you come up, I will say, like, finally you're done making out with your- To be fair, I did say you guys could go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, but that's like, you know, girl talk for, you better wait for me or else. Fair, fair. It's like, I wasn't... <sighs> I mean, we did kiss. Whatever, I got the sword back, let's go. <laughs> Wee! I imagine responding she got red. <laughs> responding to Dan away, I say, well, my my love, we're counting Chetimer seconds here, so, you know, it's gonna take a little longer. <laughs> ah, so, years. I see. She says, <laughs> smart. Get fucking comfortable. <laughs> we're talking Chetimer sex. I I do that for one of my real life friends. <laughs> Be there in a second. I'm not hanging out He ghosted me in like friend group. I don't know why, but yeah, we're just like ah. He said his name's Robert. It's like thirty Robert minutes. Ah, okay, so an hour and forty probably. Yeah, you know, something like that. Nah. Nice. To be fair though, we were accurate. Can I just say the line of "I'm gonna try and make an impact as much as I can" for is so perfect. <laughs> Like, uh, damn. Yeah. Here's, I can't here's, wait for the next step of a Noah story. Yay. Where'd you murder her? Anyways. No, but that was oh, great. Please. That was like kind of sad. <laughs> <Here's> insight. 
Here, here's a little insight in my notebook. I wrote like the the scorpion and the frog thing and a few other things. That part with the make an impact that was completely off the top of my head. It's like oh fuck. Yes. That was that was really uh, great. What, what, it's like you're some sort of D and D nerd. Yeah, nerd. Uh, that was really great. Anyways, uh, we will pick back. We're gonna take a five minute break. So cool. go us because we need that shit. Um, we take a five minute break and when we return, uh, Marshall has probably like a. F- Five, ten minutes. We'll say seven, even now. A seven minute head start. Actually, wait, no. You guys are riding a wagon. He's oh, no. Watch, are you sprinting? Are you sprinting to Preston's or are you just walking? I don't think Tala can sprint right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's right. Her heart is in I'm it, considering. but her body is not. Yeah, her. The mind is willing, but the body is weak and fleshy. <laughs> squish, squish. So, okay, if that's the case, then I think. The group will honestly probably pass you on the way there, so you guys can just... We'll pick up after the break at Preston's abode, yeah. his estate, with all of you there. Regroup the party. All right, so see you guys in five minutes. Hey. Honestly, that went mostly to plan. It was really sweet. Yeah. That was... The scorpion gen- and the fog thing literally came to me in a dream the other day. That was also really great. Just like <laughs> that was such a great analogy, and also that was that was genuinely like it was amazing. You said all the right things, and I'm really surprised. You're really good at talking to her. Right now, as as Fred, I kind of feel kind of a little bit guilty that Aldrich's been kind of you know deliberately provoking you because you know oh no Rick. don't feel guilty that's genuine and you should be doing that <laughs> no that was great that was really nice because yeah. i know she didn't mean any harm with it you know, yeah she, no she absolutely like, yeah you know like that, that's what i would do when someone unless she was a fair man that's good at manipulating people <laughs> shut up yeah, speaking she, of she which, probably uh, meant- uh, mm-hmm. yes. do you remember exactly what ulrich said to garth oh. Jeff? This Shadow Mirror Garth. I was flipping around here in my head. <laughs> cool. Good. It's working. Um, it was... Ooh, that's a bit... It was roughly along the lines of, don't give it... Don't give it as, like, a gift or a present or anything like that. But I didn't really, like, give it to her in those senses. I was just letting her look at it. <laughs> and then she decided to keep it, because I had... Because she manipulated the words I said, which was, I have to watch after it. And she said and she, she said, return it. <laughs> yes. And that is technically within the stipulations that already gave you. You never violated any promise to him. Okay, cool. You should say that in game. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> Chetamu- <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, what, fair? Aldrich would be like, mm, I'm not going to tell you. Fred, yes. So, I love that. Why? <laughs> that's, what I was, that's what Aldrich meant earlier. But think of it as a lesson. That was great. That's a good lesson. And now I can ask her questions without her being like, eh, whatever. (laughs) Pianotine. Where the fuck is my question list? So, when's your what's your birthday? What's your sign? Are you a Virgo? Actually, she might genuinely ask, "When's your birthday?" So I can get you. Uh, congratulations on being born. Item. That's Whenever exactly Crash gets back, we should ask him what the zodiac system is in this universe. That's a that's good point. Honestly, good, good world, building. world building. Yes, because yeah. I know here's his birthday is 14th of March because they are definitely Pisces. Um, <laughs> I thought they were Gemini, but they're not. <laughs> they're not. Also, so, I completely forgot to like. I was gonna say Edgar go with them, but I forgot. So in my head, Edgar's just sitting on his on her shoulder crying. Oh, <laughs> it's like it's so emotional, he's just flapping his face with his feathers. Oh, the last bits are killing me. <laughs> no, it was really sweet. That was so yeah. so nice. I'm I'm dying. Cool. Anyways, sorry to distract. Continue back to the zodiac. There's so thing. many cards on my desk. Damn. And you're gonna get more because you have to consolidate all the other ones. Well, this is just the stuff because it's just the cord for my all of the wires that my fish tank involves. Um, I love it. And then the cord for my charger that I have for my walkie-talkie that I have to use for work. Mm-hmm. 
And just that, like, creates such a mess, and I need to figure out what I'm going to hide it all behind. <laughs> uh, try the bodies. They don't usually look for cords behind bodies. <laughs> I might just stay out. They're a bit distracted by the bodies. Except for me. And then Marshall might give two shits because I got the sword back. No, no, he's... I let it go in the first place. Getting it back was just, like, bare minimum. <laughs> bare minimum effort. Anyways. Also, I'm now realizing we don't have a scabbard for that thing. Bare necessities. Simple it's bare necessities. Bare necessities. <laughs> So like, I got we, should get, we should probably get a scabbard for that sword. So what has Seema been up to? Yeah, catch you know, up. Seema's been like studying some stuff and like has a plus two in wisdom now. Dating and literally she does. Yeah, and yeah. Detective Seema on the case. We should probably have someone keep track of- Oh, hey, they're about to execute Mira, so if we need to- Well, no, if we need to, we can't get her back. Someone Here's the thing. Also, the spire is kind of impossible at this point. Yeah. Here's the thing. I'm feeling really bad about leaving. If execution happens, we can still save her, you know? Like, make one of the last-minute savings. But... It would probably be easier to just get her killed and then reanimate her body. <laughs> That's. Uh, hmm. I don't think anyone's a particular uh, caught into that idea. So yeah. Uh, what? Well, it's just an undead. It's an undead corpse in a place that doesn't like magic. So you, might have you have Mishka in your party. <laughs> Hypocrisy aside, <laughs> she's just a cannibal. Don't worry about it. By the way, this chocolate ice cream is horrible. Damn. Is it because it's slightly melted? No. It's just, it's just not sweet. Damn. Yeah. How much was it? Like one and a half bucks. So not a lot, what? but but it's a whole liter of ice cream. And usually I buy a whole liter of ice cream and it's good ice cream. If you're paying a less than two dollars for a goddamn liter of ice cream, you're getting what you paid for. Yeah, but if I do it in the other shop, like there's a different cheap shop, and they have the same thing, but it's so much better, and That's it's also weird. very cheap. Is it like the same brand? Yeah, it's, it's, a it's, a, it's, it's a different shop. I'm just huh. surprised it's not sawdust flavor at that price. Honestly, it 